In this video, I'm going to share 14 insanely useful Chrome extensions for productivity. These extensions have helped me to gain more focus, build better habits, make work more enjoyable, and just get way more done when browsing the internet. Now, I've added links to all the Chrome extensions in the description below so you can try them out for yourself, and there are some really cool ones on the list. So hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into the first Chrome extension that will immediately boost your productivity. Site Blocker is designed to help you stay focused when working. The idea here is it blocks all time-wasting websites to keep you productive and away from all the distractions that the internet offers. You can set a list of the sites you want to block, like Netflix, Facebook, and Twitter, and you can fully block these, or you can set a time limit on accessing these distracting sites. When you reach that limit, a block then goes in place. That means you can still check messages on sites like Twitter, but just not for too long or too often. Block Site allows you to set a daily blocking schedule too, and even customize the page that's shown when you try and access those sites. If you're someone who's easily distracted, this Chrome extension will quickly boost your productivity. Momentum replaces the new tab page on Chrome with a personal dashboard to help you focus, stay organized, and keep motivated to achieve your goals. The dashboard features to-do lists, weather, daily photos, and encouraging quotes. You can show and hide dashboard elements as you like, and it's a really great way to remind yourself of key tasks and keep you focused when browsing using Chrome. If you don't want to completely block certain sites, Undistracted helps to control the time we spend every day in time sinks like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, and LinkedIn. We all know just how distracting and engrossing these sites can be, but blocking them completely doesn't always make sense and isn't a feasible option as they do provide some useful content. With Undistracted, you can set parts of those websites that are shown and parts that are hidden, and then you can execute and collect content all day long without getting too distracted by wandering off into different areas of those websites. It's a really great option if if you don't want to completely block things, and the settings are synced over your Google account so that you can use this extension in multiple computers with the same settings. With Sidebar, you can access your browser bookmarks, ChatGPT, and Google Apps, all from a stylish yet powerful Sidebar panel. With just one click, you can access all of your bookmarks directly from the Sidebar panel, and you can easily sort and categorize your bookmarks according to your preference, create folders and subfolders, and drag and drop your bookmarks to move them between folders. Now, as a power user of ChatGPT, it's really cool to see that Sidebar lets you interact with ChatGPT directly from that Sidebar panel. You can enter your text or question and receive a real-time response, and the same goes for Google Apps. You can access Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, and Slides directly from the side panel without having to navigate through multiple tabs and windows, saving you loads of time. This feature is particularly useful for anyone who uses Google Apps on a regular basis as it can save you a significant amount of time and effort. Oh, and you can also customize the interface and sidebar and help you to streamline your browsing experience and save time further. Pop-up ads are super distracting. While there are a bunch of ad blockers out there, I find Adblock to be the easiest one to use. You can block pop-ups, ads, and annoying banners on sites like YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, and any site that you can think of. This not only protects your privacy, but I also find that it actually improves page load times, meaning you're more efficient when you're browsing the internet. Adblock is nicely customizable, allowing you to set whitelists, and comes with different themes. If you've watched any of my videos on encoding, you'll know that auditory and visual information is processed separately by our brains, meaning there's no added cognitive load. With Audio Read, you can convert any article, PDF, email, or pasted text into a podcast using natural sounding text-to-speech. It creates your personal RSS feed that you can subscribe to in most podcast apps like Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Overcast, or any podcast software. Now we've actually got two extensions in one next, as we have both Quillbot and WordTune because I just couldn't choose between them. Quillbot offers a really nice writing companion that offers grammar checking and paraphrasing, which is ideal if you're wanting to paraphrase things on the go in your Chrome browser. WordTune is an AI-powered writing companion that understands what you're trying to say and suggests ways to make your writing more clear, compelling, and authentic. Both of these will save you a heck of a lot of time if you're trying to write in Google Chrome. When you send any email, waiting for someone's reply can be a huge time sink for you. Now, if you're a Gmail power user, MailTrack will track opens and link clicks to the emails that you send. This is perfect if you're sending important emails for things like job searches, sending quotes, or email marketing. Just that knowledge that someone's opened your email or clicked a link lets you know whether you need to follow up or whether they haven't even opened it and you need to send a quick reminder email. 
Here are three Google Chrome extensions that all do pretty much the same thing, and that's help you to capture information as you browse the web. If you've built a knowledge repo or a second brain, you'll know that having a quick capture system is absolutely essential. I've used all three of these Chrome extensions to quickly save web pages, article clips, and more into a central repository, which I can then come back to at a later date. My favorite of these three is Evernote's Web Clipper, as it's the most feature-rich, with the ability to save a web page in multiple formats, as well as having some really cool features, like being able to take a screenshot and then annotate it before saving it to Evernote. I'll tend to use Pocket or Evernote to save websites of interest, and then I'll specifically use Save to Notion for research, as I can add a website to a Notion dashboard, which I'm using to organize a specific project. If you can read more quickly, you'll save yourself a ton of time. And that's the main function of Swift Read, which uses a visual technique called Rapid Serial Visual Presentation used by the fastest speed readers in the world. Swift Read helps you eliminate your inner voice that sounds out each word, something known as sub-vocalization, and too much focus on the words themselves so that you can read more visually, which means reading faster while maintaining comprehension. Wouldn't it be great if you could learn a new language while you're browsing the web? You're learning while you're checking news or scrolling through Reddit. With Toucan's Chrome extension, when you visit a website, Toucan automatically translates certain words and phrases on the page into the language that you're trying to learn. That way, you can learn new words in your new language within the context of a language you're already comfortable speaking. Over the years, I've lost loads of time waiting for pages to load or just general computer slowdown. Tab Suspender aims to make your computer run faster by automatically suspending tabs that you're not currently using. This reduces CPU usage by suspending inactive tabs and making that computer run faster, smoother, and generally better. And at the same time, you can quickly restore tabs with a click of a button. Toggle puts a timer into any web tool and allows quick real-time productivity tracking with all the data stored on your Toggle account. Whether you use Trello, Slack, Asana, Todoist, Jira, Notion, or any of the hundred integrated tools, you can start time tracking without opening a new tab. Toggle can also fill your Pomodoro needs through automated reminders. Sending quick video messages rather than emails has saved me loads of time over the past few years. Video is especially great for explaining things and ensuring smooth delegation so that you can get more done with your time. Now, there are lots of great screen recording tools out there, but both Loom and Vimeo offer two of the best video recording solutions for Chrome. I use these tools all the time for communicating with my team and recording screen shares quickly on my computer. Now, to take your productivity levels even further, I've got a really great video covering ChatGPT prompts, which you can use right Right now to boost your productivity. I'll pop it up over here, so do check it out. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing, and I'll catch you again next time. See ya!